It's probably the first time ever that a one-make event has been held in Europe for all the models in the Triumph range. It took two years to get this event off the ground. Bill Sunderland, who's one of the stalwarts of the One Make Club movement, wanted to get all the different Triumph clubs together on neutral ground, and because Triumph was sold all over Europe in its heyday, we wanted that event to be out of England. I was very lucky to be brought on board at an early stage, and here we are, two years later, in Holland. We've got, looking around, we've got lots of Triumph TR sports cars. We've got Heralds and Vitesse saloons, we've got Stags, we've got 2000s, we even have one or two very old standards and very old Triumphs. So this is the Triumph TR section. Now the TR is a very famous Triumph sports car, as I'm sure you can see. Went on sale in 1953 and was built all the way up to 1981. Each and every model is represented here. What better place to start than at the beginning? The first full production drop-sided TR sports car was the TR2. This car was developed from a prototype which was first seen at the 1952 Earls Court Motor Show. It was Sir John Black's desire for the Standard Motor Company to produce a class-beating sports car to rival the MGs. By 1953, after a few alterations, the TR2 had evolved into the car that we know today and it was instantly recognisable by its drop sides and sunken radiator grille. It was a pure two-seater sports car for the 50s that came with a usable boot space. The TR2 went into production in 1953 and was upgraded into the TR3 in 1955. In total, some 8,628 TR2s were produced between 1953 and 1955 and the basic selling price of the TR2 in 1953 was just £555. That price bought you a sports car that had a 1991cc Vanguard derivative engine that developed a 90 brake horsepower at 4,800 RPM. The engine's fuel mixture was fed by two SU carburettors that gave it a top speed of around 106 miles per hour and it was capable of returning 34 miles per gallon. The direct development from the TR2 was the TR3 sports car. The TR3 was produced from 1955 to 1957. And the TR3A upgrade was subsequently produced from 1957 up to 1962. The TR3s were immediately distinguished by the revised front grille which was set forward rather than being set back in a recess. The same distinctive body shape was still used, but it had undergone one or two changes to the trim, brakes and chassis. The TR3 still used the Vanguard-derived 1998cc four-cylinder overhead valve engine. The engines were still fitted with the two SU carburettors and gave the same performance and fuel consumption as the TR2s. A major coup for Triumph was the use of 11-inch discs for the front brakes. These were unheard of on European production cars of this date. The unladen weight of the TR3s had crept up to around the £2,000 mark and its basic price was £680. From 1959 another engine was available. That was the 2138cc four-cylinder overhead valve unit. Between 1955 and 1957 Triumph produced some 13,377 of these two-seater sports cars. And then between 1957 and 1962, Triumph produced a massive 58,236 TR3As with some 3,331 TR3Bs. The majority of these classic two-seater sports cars were made primarily for the export market. However, a few of the TR3s managed to stay in the UK.
The TR3 was a beautiful and classic example of 1950s contemporary yet elegant styling, featuring a wealth of chrome trim with an interior crafted in sumptuous leather. It's very easy to understand why the TR3 range was so popular and still is so popular today. It's a car with sheer style and elegance in profusion. The TR4 was a complete redesign undertaken by Triumph. It was styled with the help of Giovanni Micheletti. It featured a pressed steel body and was some 12 inches longer and had a wider track than the TR3. A couple of the most prominent bodywork features were the power bulge on the bonnet and the recessed headlights with bonnet hoods. The power bulge was to house the twin SU carburettors. Later, the SUs were changed for twin Strombergs. The TR4 engine was initially 1991cc, but that quickly became the 2138cc four-cylinder overhead valve unit. The original TR4 engine was capable of around 103 miles per hour, with a fuel consumption of 22 miles per gallon. The TR4 was also capable of a 0 to 50 time of 8.3 seconds, whilst the upgraded TR4A was capable of producing 104 brake horsepower at 4,700 RPM. Using two Stromberg carburettors, the TR4A was capable of speeds around 110 miles per hour 